Could somebody sing that rhythm to me? One, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay. How would you count it? One and two and. Okay, see? He said one and two and. That's this. And is an upbeat, correct? But you didn't sing an upbeat, you sang a downbeat. You said bang, bang. That's a downbeat, that's not an upbeat. And so in all musical cultures, the number one when you count music is heard as a downbeat. So that means there had to be a one here for you to sing it the way you sang it correctly. I mean, you sang it so it swung, bang, bang. So basically, instead of those eighth notes being in terms of four and four, how many eighth notes in this first attack before another attack hits? Three. three. So that's three plus how many in this attack? No, no. How many? Five. So you're talking about three plus five, not four plus four. So it's not one and two ends, like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, bang. Now, if you take the numbers away and put drum rhythm, you're going to hear bang do bang, bang do bang. So it's basically three plus five in terms of additive rhythm. It's actually the equivalent of this. Or this. So in a sense, if you're keeping time with this, the eighth notes are basically dotted eighth notes. So now, in that sense, this is really five plus seven. That would include the swing. So if you're saying back it 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 you're really saying five plus seven. And so this additive rhythm idea can be a very usable tool. Like if you're on a record date or something and, and, and you got a time to look over your partner's a difficult rhythm, you could you put, uh, apply this additive principle and you know what the thing sounds like before the tape starts rolling so you're going to nail it. For example, well, that could give somebody a problem sight reading. However, if you see this as three plus three, it becomes very easy because then you're saying bang it to bang it to bang. Three plus three. This is a chameleon. Bump, 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 bang it to bang it bang. Bump, 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 bang it bang it bang. Now, if you use that additive principle, you're going to play that exactly in the right place, right in the pocket. So this is, once you know that these, this three and this three are there, you hear that triplet. Bump, 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 bang it to bang it bang. Boom, 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 bang it, bang it, bang. Boom, 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 bang it, bang. You're going to play it perfect, right in the pocket. If you're trying to read in terms of this stuff over here, one and two and, one and a, and all that, you're in big trouble, man. Won't be anywhere near what. Boom, 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 bang it, bang it, bang. Boom, 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 bang it, bang. So you do that, man. You start to feel that groove, man. So therein lies the problem with syncopation, added to rhythm. Let's take a look at another. I was all boom bang, boom bang, boom bang, boom bang, boom bang, which becomes easy once you see three here. Bump back it do bump bang. The rest you can feel. Bump back it do bump bang, but do bump bang, bump back it do. As soon as you see that two plus three, the problem goes out the window. The way you break it down is whatever the lowest common denominator is. If the lowest note value is sixteenths, you would do it in terms of sixteenths. If it was an eighth, you would do it in terms of, this happens to be an eighth. The one before was in sixteenths. I'm going to write the three ways. I'm going to write a uh, couple of bars of the notation to confirmation. Now you got to think, this is not monorhythmic six-eight. This is a six-eight like you heard me playing the African thing. Back it, back it, back it, back it, the bam, bam. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five. Now, one of the biggest problems with the other kind of thinking is these things that are falling on six. 
like this and falling on three. Because most people are playing like one hand and the, the thing won't swing. Now I've had students, once they play this, this way, then I just go back and say, okay, now let's play, forget about that. And I just do like this, they start swinging, playing the accents in the right place. Now, here's, here's the nitty gritty. Remember what we said about additive rhythm. Watch this. One, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one. That's what the additive way of looking at that six, eight, which is totally accurate. It's two plus three plus one plus two plus one, 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 one. So if you look at it that way, one, two, three, uh, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, 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 two, one, one, two. Now you're going to play it exactly right. And so, it's no question that Charlie Parker was hearing. Boo bam, biddy, baby, do be.